I think we tend to be really hard on ourselves and we think that the persona that we give online has to be the same regardless of what's going on, regardless of us being multifaceted people. And I think that part of that comes from this idea that we always have to like niche down or follow this niche and follow your interests. And I've talked about it a couple of times before, but the thing that really gets me is that there's almost a fear to show any other interest online. And the trends don't lie. A lot of times if someone's a video game YouTuber or they specify in one specific thing, then when they do something else and everyone was used to that video game thing, unless based on the personality, a lot of times the viewership might go down and then they feel discouraged to put up something about themselves in that way. But I find that I want to try and steer away from that this year for 2024, because we are more than just one type of person. I might be a musician that works in tech, but that's not the only thing that's about me. That's not the only thing that I have about me. I'm also someone who really likes to play video games. Besides writing music, I like to go fly drones. I like to do other things and I try different things out. And I think that people forget that people have more than one interest and people are not that one thing that they show you. Like I watch a lot of woodworking YouTubers and I'm sure they do more than woodworking in their free time. They may love it and that's what they're used to showing their crowd and they have this like, niche or niche that they follow by making these videos. But I think it goes farther than that. I think we should allow ourselves to step out of our comfort zone and show the things that we really enjoy. Because I think people want to see you know, something genuine in 2024 and moving forward. I think a lot of people are used to this like aesthetic or the influencers or the people who just do one thing and it burns them out and they're tired. And even now YouTubers are quitting because they were doing this one thing and they've been doing it for a long time and it's just tiring. And it's hard to keep up doing one thing because we as people change all the time. So it's just, I personally don't think that you're gonna be able to do that one thing for so long because we just work differently than that. So. I think that there's value to posting your interests, all of them, on you know the internet if you want to do that, if you want to show your YouTube and do multiple things. If you want to show your YouTube and do multiple things, if you want to pivot and try different things out, I think this is the time to do it. I think there's time to test it. And I think it's okay to have more than one interest. I think for so long, we force artists to pigeonhole into just one type of music. Some artists like to make different types of music, different genres, and they get pivoted into one genre. Authors get, you know, pushed into one genre. There's this feeling of forced focus that people put themselves through and also see what other people go through and they see how tired people get of it. And it, it's tiring. It's tiring to keep trying to do that same thing over and over and over again for years and years and years. And I personally don't want to burn out that way. So one of the things that I'm gonna try and let go of is the fear of showing your multiple parts of your identities online, showing the tech part, showing the music part, showing the artist part, showing the YouTube part, showing the drone part. I wanna show everything that I have interest in. And I think that part of that comes with being okay with things flopping, but being okay with things failing. It's gonna happen. I, you, can't, you can't do well on literally everything. So try different things out, try the things that you wanna do. And I think people see when you're genuine. I think people see when there's something that you truly enjoy that brings a smile to your face. Like people can tell and I can even tell when I watch people that I really like, I, I could listen to someone for two or three hours if it's something that they really enjoy and it's super cool to see. So I think we should try and let go of that fear of mixing our identities, mixing the personality and only having to be that one person in front of the camera. I think we can be more than that. It kind of builds off of my last video of building a brand as a creative. You might be a person who works in an oil field, but you draw really well. I don't know. Put them together and see how it works. I said in that that you should 
try different things out that you're interested in. So just keeping it consistent and I'll see you tomorrow.